Here are some sample problems. I want you to determine the formula weights of each of the following compounds. Please pause the video, try this on your own first, then hit play, and I'll show you how to do it on the board. To do this first one, we look at the periodic table and determine what the atomic masses are for each of these elements. Magnesium has an atomic mass of 24.31. Oxygen has an atomic mass of 16, and hydrogen has an atomic mass of 1. Next, we determine how many total atoms there are. You'll notice that there's an OH here, but it's wrapped in brackets and has a 2 next to it. What that really means is that each molecule of this magnesium hydroxide has two total OHs in it. So there are actually two oxygen atoms and two hydrogen atoms total in each molecule of this compound. There's only one magnesium now. So what I've got is I've got one magnesium with an atomic mass of 24.31 plus two atoms of uh, oxygen that each weigh 16 plus two atoms of hydrogen that each weigh one. I'll let you do that on your calculator. One thing I want to stress, however, is that the units for molecular weight are in grams per mole. Please, please, please remember that, grams per mole. That will become very important later on. Doing this problem could be challenging if we leave the formula out, out, out here all separated, where I've got all the car these carbons all separated, the oxygens and hydrogens. I'm going to condense them all together so that I can see it a little bit more clearly. How many total carbons are there? I've got one here, another there, and five there. So that's one plus one plus five is seven. How many hydrogens? Well, I've got three here and 11 over here, so that combined is 14, and I've got two total oxygens. So the condensed formula for this is C7H14O2. Now let's determine what the atomic masses are for each of these elements. If you look at the periodic table, the atomic mass for carbon is 12.01. For hydrogen is about 1, and for oxygen is about 16. Now I've got 7 carbon atoms, and I've got 14 hydrogens, and I've got 2 oxygens. So if I take this, multiply it by 7, that gives me 84.07. If I take 1 times 14, that gives me 14. And if I take 16 times 2, it gives me 32. If I add these together, I'll get the final molecular weight for this compound. Once again, as with the last one, please don't forget that the units here are in grams per mole. 